responsible for this great product, Orth Hedrick. All right, Orth? Thank you, Michael. Thank you. And this white space that we've identified for the vehicle is uh, really uh, kind of a, a no man's land. It's a, a space that, um, for buyers that were moving down from the bigger cars, they really enjoyed the space and the luxury of a larger size. Uh, but they didn't like the price. So as you move down, you can keep the features, but you have to get a smaller package. That's the, the mid-luxury vehicles that we show here on the left. Uh, the, if you enjoy the space and the size and the features of a K900 from our competitors, you have to move all the way up to this, this premium luxury space. So we're combining the best of both worlds. The positioning and, and of, the, of a mid-luxury vehicle with the features, size, and presence of a premium luxury vehicle. And if you look at the, uh, just to put some numbers to it, if you look at a facing uh, BMW model, for instance, at the very top, a BMW 740i, this is the short wheelbase 7 series, um, starts off at about $75,000. And if you look at a comparably equipped 740i that has the same, relatively the same equipment level as a K900, it still falls short. There's 105 less horsepower, there's a shorter wheelbase, and it doesn't have any of the rear seat features or packaging that I, I uh, talked about. And it's a similar story with Audi, with the Lexus and the Mercedes. So that's really where we see that opportunity. So when we introduced this car with that $84,000 price point in mind from the BMW, comparing it to our starting price on the V8 VIP package, which is the vehicle you'll be driving today, of $65,500, that doesn't include a $900 uh, DNH charge, that's an almost $20,000 gap between ourselves and a facing BMW model that still isn't competitive. And on top of that, we include three-year complimentary scheduled maintenance on every K900. For us, that was really the compelling feature, is to develop this uh, state-of-the-art, uh, fully competitive vehicle that uh, can compete with the guys at the very top established brands uh, and deliver an incredible value. We're not the only ones that think that's great. In fact, um, one of the big arbiters in the industry, ALG, has recognized this value story and has given us a premium luxury residual value leader status, which we're really, really proud of. And I think that will speak loudly to um, our customers who come in and look at the car. Uh, they look at the numbers and they see this high residual value, higher than anybody else in the, in, in the segment. Uh, it will deliver a great lease price uh, in addition to having the free maintenance. A fully competitive package a true luxury flagship, superb materials and craftsmanship, 65,500. We're gonna to go to market with um, a very simple grade strategy and packaging. It'll start off with a V8 model, which includes uh, all of the features I mentioned earlier, the Napa leather trim, the panoramic sunroof, the, the chrome wheels, and all of the 19, uh, 9.2 inch uh, screen. And then we'll add to that the vehicle you'll be driving today, which is the VIP package, which includes, in addition to the base model, a lot of the content for the rear seat, uh, but also adds a 12.3 inch TFT screen uh, for, the, for the driver control system. So you'll get to experience all that today. So in all, for us, is the fact that we're delivering a fully competitive vehicle at a great value that looks fantastic and that has a lot of recognition in the industry from ALG and others. And with that, that's the Kia compelling offer that we're bringing to market with the K900.